Hey YouTube, this is RafflecOpters92, and today we're playing uh, Mike Jones, still tipping, through this little Sony speak here, we're gonna blow it up. It's uh, came out of a, this Sony SSV230, Sony Corporation, and this thing has no, it has that little piece of insulation, whatever they put in there, and piece of uh, press board glued to the sides for uh, support the speaker magnet thing and just two wires there's no over per, over power circuit or anything like that inside of it so whatever Sony's one of those companies that has like a a really good line of stuff and then a cheap line of stuff I think this is along the cheaper line um, also I got this came with a box deal I got that uh, I got for like five bucks Come, came with those two of those speakers. I just have one still in the case and one out of it. Um, I got these Polk Audio. This thing's heavy. Uh, usually you can tell the quality of the speaker by how heavy it is because he better brands usually use like a metal outside or it's just heavy because they have like electronics inside of them that protect the speaker from certain uh, stuff. Now, these are Polk Audio model RM101 sat black which is I guess the color satin black and uh, these are actually nice speakers I can't feed much power through them I've already tried that it's only rated for probably like 40 watts but they are um they sound good they're ported on top and they have very very good sound to them these speakers sound really good with the high notes but not so much the low notes I also got I had these ones are KLH audio systems. Um, these ones are really good with bass, and these ones are pretty heavy too. Pretty good size woofer on there. Uh, they sound really good. These are not ported. That's just a that's just a tweeter right there. And these ones are rated for. It says on the label. I got two of these too. There's another one right there. Um, 80 hertz to 20. Kilohertz frequency response. Use with 5 to 100 watt amplifiers, average impedance, 8 ohms, and magnetically shielded for video. My receiver is 240 watts, and I usually have this thing cranked like all day. So I don't, I don't want to blow these up because these are actually some pretty nice speakers. Model 1911B. These ones, I don't know why, but it seems like Awa, Iowa, A I W A, how do you say that brand? Over, uh, underrates their speakers. This is only 50 watts, and I feed about 110 through it every day, and it takes it fine. So, and these Sony ones, I have no information on them at all, just the model number and the serial number. On the back of the speaker, it's an actual Sony speaker. It doesn't say wattage or anything. So, I'm just gonna blow these up because these are a little bit lower on the line. I can get more on Goodwill every day. Oh wow.
champ. My chain lock. Put up a fight. Mmm. Smells pretty good. Turn the protect on. We'll take power out of that channel. Put it on the other one. There we go. Wow. Ooh. Making weird noises. Take it apart. Holy moly, that thing wedged. Magnet's pretty warm too. That thing put up a good fight. Now let's rip it to shreds. Mm. That'll work. Oh wow, it's pretty rugged. Wow. Maybe these speakers were built pretty rugged. That's a pretty thick coil. Pretty burnt. Come on. The camera sucks focusing, but it's pretty burnt. Been bottomed out a lot. The bottom's like mushroomed. Ooh. This is like a copper magnet. That's weird. Like the inside of the magnet is copper. Yeah, it's just copper coated. Copper isn't magnetic, is it? Yeah, that's weird. It's like copper inside there. Huh. I might actually keep the other one. That thing put up a fight. But, no. Gives me something to do. I haven't blown up a speaker in a long time. Jesus. That's rugged. Oh, I bent it. Huh. Interesting. Oh, uh, where can I put this? Huh. Up there seems good to me. Oh. I just hit that light. It tried to come back and attack me. This is ridiculous. There we go. Stop. Okay. Oh, this song is Hollow by Alice in Chains. strong. Jesus. There we go. 
Oh, I just popped a little thing out. Ugh. Where's my... I'll use this. This is a weapon of destruction I made a couple years ago. It's got a spiky thing on one end and a flat thing on the other end. What is this? It's a stupid ABS plastic crap. Oh, I know what this needs. It needs a big hammer. Are you kidding me? That all, that's all that did is manage to just crack it. There we go. That's rugged. Okay.